I would hope that they would say that uh, I have a pretty good reputation. I, I like to, you know, keep a very upstanding, you know, uh, rapport on campus. You know, I'm very involved, of course, and uh, yeah, I hope there will be a, a few good things said about me. Um, I would hope that they would think that I'm a good basketball player because kind of blew a couple big layups in some very public games, you know, so. So uh, recently, uh, I got the opportunity to play in the Reese series, which is like you know the big deal for basketball, B League nonetheless, but basketball in general. So got to play in the Reese series. Uh, we played a team before, um, and and you know they won, they beat us. They were a better team, great team, full of great guys. And uh, and and this was during the normal regular season, you know, and and we played them again for the championship game. So you know it's a really big game. Everyone's like you know who's gonna win, who's gonna win. And it was a really hard-fought game. Uh, they came out very strong, kept us down the entire game, and we were able to kind of inch back and try way back and, and kind of get you know close enough and, and then finally go ahead, but then they tied it up and sent the game into overtime, which was really exciting but really nerve-wracking. Um, so at, in overtime, you know, we're playing, having a good time, you know, really fighting for this victory, really like putting our everything into it, you know. And it came down to, you know, making a shot. And, uh, you know, a, a guy on my team, he made the shot. But it was still just enough time for them to come down and then have an opportunity for another shot um, to tie the game and send it into a double overtime. And, you know, it all kind of boiled down to us just locking down on defense and, like, really kind of squeezing them, you know. And uh, thankfully, we were able to win the game. It's really interesting because, you know, kind of coming into the game, you know, no one really expected it us, you know, to win or what have you, and I think in a, in a little way we didn't really expect ourselves to win, but when you really just like fight for it, you know, put your all into it, it turned out really good. Um, well, it was the very first time that I ever gave a sermon at church, and I'd been preparing for this sermon, and I'd written down all my notes, and I was like really ready, you know, I was, I was a little nervous, admittedly, but I was ready, you know, I thought. And I get to church, and uh, and we, we're, you know, it's the time's coming for me to kind of give the sermon. So I get up there, and I have my notes, you know, shaking, ready. And it seems like I had like all these great ideas written down. It seemed like I had like maybe like at least 45 minutes worth of sermon, you know, in those notes. I get up there, and I say everything that I have to say in like three and a half minutes. The thing that irritates me when, in other people is with lack of motivation. Uh, yeah, just, just lack of motivation in general. And I like to think of myself as not a pretty motivated person and, and, a, and a person that can kind of motivate you as well. And, and, and I'll try and try and if you don't still have that motivation, it's like, ah, oh, be motivated, want to do something with your life, you know. So that's something that kind of really gets to me sometimes. I think that I've been able to, you know, establish a good amount of credibility this year, um, the school year, um, yeah, as Sabbath School Director, as VC President, you know, really being involved um, on campus. I'll continue to, to establish that credibility with, you know, incoming students and, and even, you know, current students by just being there, literally being transparent or figuratively being transparent, being able to, you know, interface with individuals, you know, meet new people and, and have them really see who I am so that I can really see who they are. You know, really creating relationships and bonding. I'd immediately try to create the re religious vice president position for SA. I think that's really important. All of our sister schools have it and it, and it would bring us very spiritual, you know, viewpoint to every aspect of SA, which I think is really needed. Um, I'd also try to, you know, tackle some, some quick issues like getting rollover convocation and rollover worship credit for the students, which I think could be really, you know, helpful in uh, getting those things kind of knocked out and staying on top of it all.